What weird thing would you make socially acceptable if you could? Staying completely silent in other people's company. Short naps at work. Running in public to get to places quicker. The IRS telling you how much you owe in taxes. Taking a social time out without having to smoke or occupy the bathroom. My workday is 6 to 8 hours, it's an open plan office, lunch is social, and I have at least an hour commute per day. That's at least twice my maximum social energy per day. Being able to take a day off because you just want to, as opposed to having to come up with an excuse. Eating alone in small cities. I used to live in New York and ate alone all the time. No one ever noticed or cared. I moved to a small beach city. People react to me dining alone as if I were naked and eating alive animals in trails with my bare hands while screaming the lyrics to the Klondike bar ice cream commercial. Sitting. On the floor or anywhere, really. Walking my pig on a leash. Skipping. It's more fun and energy efficient than running. I sometimes do it when I'm alone because I like the way it feels. Not being always productive. And not devoting one's life to making money. Not wearing a bra, I feel weird like everybody notices when I don't wear one in public and other women give rude looks. I just want to be comfortable. Probably readjusting your sack. I hate when mine gets stuck in a weird spot, but I can't move it until I get home. Correcting other people's kids. Not physically, but telling them to quit their bullshit if their parents aren't doing it. Eating alone at a restaurant. I mean, sort of limited now due to COVID, but before COVID, when people would hear of me doing that, they said they felt terrible and how depressing that sounds. I'm like, uh, why? Just another day for me. Doesn't feel weird or anything. It's quite nice to get away from constant chats and have a nice quiet meal while being out and about. Frilly dresses for adults. Am I the only one? I loved wearing them at Christmas and Easter as a little girl. Now I feel like I can't get away with it. Satin, lace, pastel colored ruffles, puffy sleeves, embroidered flowers and ribbons, a skirt that flies out when you spin around. Maybe even a corset. Look silly on a grown woman, especially if everyone else is wearing blue jeans and t-shirts. I sure miss dressing up like that, though. Running jogging rather than speed walking. Sometimes my walk home after I park is like 5 minutes and it'd be there in 2 seconds if I could run without people thinking something is wrong. Talking about our mental health issues. We all face some level of depression or anxiety. Why are we lying and pretending to be happy all the time? Having your work ethic, not your ass-kissing skills, prioritized and appreciated. Both in jobs and school. Men hugging each other often and showing affection. I used to see this when I was younger. Then I think as a society, we decided to label such behavior as gay. Introverts being allowed to skip parties without being judged. You know that thing we all do where we're walking and suddenly realize we are going the wrong direction or need to change direction, so we stop, pull out our phones, pretend like we read something and then start walking in a new direction. Yeah, I just start randomly changing directions on the fly. Men should be allowed to express emotions without being seen as weak. It upsets me to see people in pain due to things that aren't their fault. I wish that people would stop conflating women not wearing makeup with being unprofessional. I worked in a place where a girl was told she looked unprofessional when she didn't wear makeup. Yikes. Classifying women not wearing makeup as lazy normalizing a fresh face on women, even to formal events. Sure it looks nice, but can't a lady just rock some nice hair and a fancy outfit, the same way men do. Going out in more costume style clothing. I'm not talking about overpriced Halloween store crap either, I mean being able to walk around in full Victorian era clothing 
GD robes, or good pirate wear. I'm tired of looking normal damn that. Dressing for comfort over style. I want to live in a world where it's perfectly fine to show up at a job interview in a sweatshirt. The need to wear nice clothes is an arbitrary rule we created for ourselves. Women being topless. It sucks that in hot weather men and kids can roam around topless, but a woman can practically get arrested in some places for having her boobs on show. Bras and bikini tops are frickin' uncomfortable, not to mention rubbish tan lines. They've started trying to make breastfeeding in public less of an issue, so who knows, maybe I'll be able to get my baps out in a few years. Abruptly leaving conversations that you don't want to participate in. For example, one could simply declare this bores me. Goodbye. Then promptly depart. Being asexual or aromantic. 